Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Janeline Palma, your Certified Scrum Master. In this lesson, you will learn all about the Scrum Team. So let's start! So first, let's discuss what is Scrum Team. Do you have any idea what Scrum Team consists of? So there are three important roles in Scrum Team. First is the Product Owner. The second one is the Scrum Master. And lastly, the developers. So later on, I will discuss each role and their responsibilities. But now, let's talk about first the Scrum Team. So in Scrum Team, there are no sub-teams or hierarchies. So sample of that is like in the image for you to visualize. And then Scrum teams are cross-functional, meaning the members have different skill sets but are all working towards a common goal. So sample of that is the role of the developers. So developers compose of a back-end dev, front-end dev, iOS dev, and so on. They have different skill sets but they are working towards a common goal, which we call a sprint goal. And then, Scrum team typically compose of 10 or fewer people, but sometimes more than 10, like in my project right now. So now let's move to the next slide. So who do you think is accountable for creating a valuable, useful increment every sprint? So is there someone who answer product owner only? Scrum Master only or developers only? So the correct answer is the entire Scrum team. So the Scrum team is responsible for all product-related activities. So now that you're already familiar to the Scrum team, let's now talk about each role and their responsibilities. So first, let's talk about the product owner. So PO holds the vision for the product, meaning the PO creates and defines the goals. So sample of that is they are the one who create the high-level feature that the team will work on for the entire sprint. And then next, decision maker. So in Agile, there are so many sudden changes, even during the sprint. So when priority changes, the PO should decide right away what to trade off. So um, in trading off, trading off user stories. And then refines the backlog. So since the PO is the one who directly communicates to the stakeholders, they are the one who makes sure the goals are clear and the vision is aligned with business objectives. And then next is follow Scrum process. So not only the PO, but the entire Scrum team should follow the Scrum process. And then next is sets the product roadmap. So PO help the team to be on the same page in order for a project to work effectively. And then next, attend Scrum meetings. So it is important that PO attend Scrum meetings for them to be aware on what's happening during the sprint. And then last is plans releases. So PO decide when to release the feature. So this is also depends on the priority of the business, when to release the feature. So that's all for the PO. Let's now proceed to the Scrum Master role. So Scrum Master, what do you think are the roles of a Scrum Master? So first, Scrum Master is a facilitator slash remove barriers. So Scrum Master facilitates Scrum events like sprint planning, daily Scrum, sprint review, and sprint retrospective. So we will discuss it in, on another topic. So Scrum Master remove barriers. Some of that if 
someone in the team mention his her impediments during daily scrum, scrum master should remove that impediments for the team to be able to continue his her task to achieve the sprint goal. So, what is the meaning of impediments? So, do you have any idea? So, in scrum, impediment is a factor that blocks the development of the team. So, that's the meaning of impediment. So, in short, blocker. And then next, enables close cooperation. So, Scrum Master ensures that the team collaborate with each other. And next is enforce Scrum principles. So, Scrum Master should implement Scrum practices as defined in the Scrum Guide. Scrum Master should lead and coach the team. Then next is improve productivity. So, Scrum Master should monitor the progress of the team and ensure that the team is meeting deadlines with the desired outcome. And also, the Scrum Master should give a positive vibes to the team so that the team will work productively. And then next, protects team from external interference. So, sample scenario here is when stakeholders directly communicate to the developers and give tasks to them without consulting the PO and the Scrum Master. So, in this scenario, the Scrum Master should protect the team by communicating with the stakeholders that everything the developers will work on should be based on the result of their sprint planning. So now that you know the common Scrum Master roles and responsibilities, let's now proceed to the developers. So developers are the one who builds the product. So what do you think are the roles and responsibilities of the developers? So first, they are self-organizing. So once sprint planning is done, the team already know what tasks they will be working on and how long they will complete each task. So you don't need to tell them what they need to do since they already know it. And then next, the development teams are cross-functional. So some people misinterpret this word. So cross-functional means that the team members have different skill sets necessary to turn product backlog items into a done increment. So it does not mean that each member has all these skills. So sample, there is a QA and that QA has all the skills of a front-end, back-end iOS dev. So that's not the definition of a cross-functional, okay? And then next, create each increment of showable product. So as I have mentioned a while ago, that developers build the product. So they are the one who build the features for every sprint. And then next, is skilled in whatever is needed for a project, including developers, testers, designers. So each member has specialized role. So sample, QA specialized in testing, manual or automation. So depends on what is needed. And then last is Scrum recognize no sub teams in the development team. So there's no hierarchy in Scrum. So as I have mentioned a while ago. So that's all for, for lesson two. So thank you. If you have any questions or topic you want me to discuss, just comment down below. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on my next video. Bye!